Hi guys, welcome back to a POV. I uh, haven't done one of these ever before and uh, I thought I'd kick it off straight away. Now that I've got the 85 on with the 70D, my trusty setup, and there's a shot that I really want to get, but it's uh, these massive cool buildings up here and it's quite a sunny day today, um, but I really just like the look of it. I don't know where to I stand back a bit. Ah, oh, the sun shining directly on it. This is not what I wanted. I wanted a more edgy look. Uh, that's annoying. There's sun right on it. Might have to just deal with it. Let's get that shot. Right, there's that one up on the screen. So it was meant to rain today. Um, well, and it's literally like the complete opposite. Like, immense sun. <laughs> like, see if I was like mad into cool kind of sun and shade contrast photography, I'd love this weather. But I just don't see this. It's kind of a cool shot of the, the wind mirror. Yeah, it's alright. Okay, so this is where me and Josh took a few photos when it was raining. Um, the entire floor was lovely and reflective. Um, and today, it's, uh, well, it's pretty dry. So, uh, yeah, let's just get some people shots. Get the standard. It's quite cool. Um, and yeah, it's... Uh, as you see, it's sunny. I don't like that. I don't like sun. Um, it's a corner of a cyclist here. Let's try and let's try and get that. Yeah, who knows? Okay, so we're just going to get a shot of this guy walking here. It's quite a, quite a cool shot. Ah, oh, there's no one in there. Right, cool, cool. Right, we've got a car shot today, lads. I don't like taking photos of people when they're in their cars, uh, just because it feels a bit odd. Um, but I've got to move back because I'm at 135 um, with this lens. So, I'd, oh, that does look sick. I'm going to just cut out the screen now and get a bit lower. It does look really cool. Oh, it's a, okay, I've got to wait until there's not people there. Wait for the background to clear. See about them. Yeah. And I might get some close ups. You know what? That'll do. I love the car photo. At least we'll walk through. That looks kind of cool. That's cool. I really like that. Yeah. I might do a side shot. Oh, that's beautiful. That is a beautiful shot. Lovely. Oh, I've just seen a shot of this car again. Right. There's a person there. Get out of my way. Let's try and get focus. So look at that. I'll crop that in. That'll look, the compression on that is really cool. Because you've got the street in the background. Uh, I might use the leading lines as well. I, I keep going back to this car. It's a really cool car. I really like shooting this car. I'm just going to raise it up a little bit to get some of that compression of the background in as we, as we see the, there's a hill going down. So it looks really cool. Front on shot. Lovely. And I might get a low one with the leading lines. Oh, that is a lovely shot. Yeah, you get those leading lines, it's beautiful. I'll be on screen. That's a cool shot. Right, that'll be on screen now. I quite like that shot. Um, and there's also, it's a green light, so I can do this. In the distance, Mercedes coming at me. Uh, and I'm gonna crop that in. The cool, the lovely van here. That's a bad shot, let's not include that. <laughs> cool bike here, maybe. Yeah, a bit underexposed, we can sort that out. Might shoot through here. Let's try and get that man. It's a, it's a cool shot. Just a delivery driver. Oh, let's, get, let's get a classic wind. Win, uh. Right, this is a problem with multiple point autofocus. When you want to focus on something like a, a wind mirror, a wind, or a mirror, and it gets confused where you want to focus and just focuses on the back of the car. Right, let's just adjust my settings. Let's just use the leading lines. Yeah. Buses leave me alone. Okay, cool. Right, oh, there's a DLR shot here. Let's get, get a shot of the DLR going here. Quite cool. So I'm going to sort of use the leading lines 
as like a wait for people not to be in the way. Not really central that. But again, I don't know what's going on with me today. That's better. Right, that's on screen now. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Right, let's chop in here. So I'm at West India Key Station. Um, what you can do is get a cityscape from here, but it is a bit far away. Nah, not liking that at all. This is sort of the shot I was going for. Again, looks better when it's wet. It is kind of puddly, but obviously the sky isn't. Um, I don't know how it will look on the 85. You basically just you'd aim to try and get uh, a train coming through here, but trains don't come through here very often. They mainly go up to, uh, mainly go past here. It gets a little bit wider just so you can kind of get more of the Canary Wharf station in there. That's better. But then again, ah, oh, train coming. Beautiful timing. Trying to focus on it. Might get wait for it to be a bit closer. Right, that's not great because I was trying to focus on the train. I can't. So I might just do this. That's a cool shot. So I just get a mirror selfie down here. Let's get a mirror selfie. I'm not going to post this, but this is just a fun one for the POV. How, how much can you see of me on here? Ah, oh, lovely jubbly. Let's get a, let's get a lovely, let's get a lovely mirror selfie there. All right, let's get a shot of the DLR incoming. Cause that might look quite cool. I'm not used to using the 50 at all. It's such a weird lens for me to use. I'm on the Thames path at the moment um, and there's this beautiful sunset with uh, some people walking across the bridge. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to live view. Oh, these are beautiful shots. Perhaps I might do it in the landscape. Oh, I don't know. These are absolutely beautiful shots. These are incredible. Try and get someone isolated on their own. There we go. Oh, absolutely insane. Right, there's, there's a shot here of this woman sitting here. That's beautiful, that light. Oh, that, that back lighting is absolutely insane. Let's try and get a lower. Insane. So we are back out in Piccadilly. Um, one of my favourite spots. Um, that's a cool shot already. Um, I think I'm bus shot here would be beautiful but there's cars coming got it right i'm gonna try and shoot buses kind of not as much fast bus okay i'm still zoomed in unlucky me see this is this is the life of a street photographer you, you miss so many shots like genuinely i think i got it i did get it i got it right guys I'm going to end the POV here. Thank you all for watching. We've got some great shots. Um, they'll be on Instagram. You can follow my Instagram at hgmvisuals or dot visuals. Um, that'll be greatly appreciated. Um, and yeah, thank you all for watching and I will see you next time.